Ramappa Temple of Telangana, which was in waiting list from almost 2014, finally got the status as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ramappa Temple is also called as Ramalingeshwara Temple or Rudreshwara Temple. And from the inscriptions mentioned on the walls of these temples, we came to know that it was built around 13th century by Recharla Rudra. Who was he? He was the general of Kakatiya ruler Ganapati Deva, who was also the father of Rudrama Devi. And which traveler called this temple as the brightest star in the galaxy of temples? It was by Marco Polo. In the world, very few temples were named based on the sculpture or the architecture who built it. And among one among them was this Ramappa temple. Coming to the characteristics of this temple, it was built on the six feet high star shaped platform. Generally star shaped platforms comes under your Hoyasala architecture. But the Ramappa temple was built based on Vesara style of architecture. That is the mixture of both North Indian style of temple architecture and South Indian type of temple architecture. That is the mixture of Nagara and Dravidian style of architecture can be considered as the Vesara style of temple architecture. Coming to the Kakatiya art, you can see here the beautiful dance picture. It looks very delicate and the sensuous postures and even with elongated bodies and elongated heads. One more unique thing of this world heritage site was the roof. Particularly the Garpa Gruha of this temple was built with bricks that was so light that even they float on water so that the roof weight will not fall on the temple. Most of the Nandis which were placed in Shiva temple were in a sitting position. But look at this Nandi in Ramappa temple friends. It was not in a sitting position it was about to stand you can see here and the eyes of this nandi were made in a such a way that if you look this eyes at any direction it looks like the nandi is watching you only you can see here it is watching us and here also it is watching us and here also it is watching us you can find here friends a small temple was built here and it is looking little older than the main temple because it was built before the construction of the main temple as a model. By looking this temple, they have constructed the huge temple. It took nearly 40 years to complete this temple friends and now it is included as a world heritage site particularly because of its engineering innovation. I already mentioned that the roof was made by using the floating bricks. And the foundation was so strong that it withstand even the 17th century major earthquake. The most important technology which was used to make that foundation was sandbox technology. It is like a mixture of sand and granite and different jaggery and even sometimes iron jowls. And even the selection of the building material and masterful like stones sculpting was all the unique features of this temple. And even by seeing the dancing figures on this temple, the famous Nataraja Ramakrishna, who was the dance guru in Telangana, revived the Perini Shivathandavam. This is the Perini dance in which the Shivathandavam will be performed by the male personalities. This is a Twitter statement by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and the World Heritage Committee which will vote whether a site to be included in this World Heritage site or not consists of all these countries and the only country which opposed this move was 
Norway. Russia gave ultimate support to Ramappa temple to be declared as a world heritage site. Coming to the question for you guys, who were the contemporary rulers in the north to the Kakatiyas, whether it was Mughals or Delhi Sultanates? Please do comment in the comment box.